Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. Do you think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again? And please not. Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA.
Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Want to bid the city goodbye? Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? City. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once? Do well to remember that. If you ever toss back in again. I'm sure I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. Let it go. Don't deserve this abuse. People rarely get what they deserve, V. Why, Johnny? Last time we're ever gonna talk this. So you're gonna do your damnedest to make me feel like shit? Because it's my last chance to make a difference, if not in the world, then in you. You spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. But I wanted you to hear him. Could have been solid-ass tunes in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. We were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron-willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. I think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. I think this is it, kiddo. Guess. So? Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? Think I can, too.
V, I wanted to speak with you. V, you in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, V. And I would not want to cock this up. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Wake up, V! Afterlife! See you there. Eyes, they're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? I heard voices. Lots. Was that you? Me, doctors, probably some dreams. Doesn't matter. You're awake now. Was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Weiss, in the AV, you weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I found out owed you this. Putting in a personal appearance. Bad news, gotta be. Just tell me. Surgery was a bust, right? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You alive? Hearing a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the engram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. You're shitting me. Believe me. I wish I could have said it was all good. 70 fucking nine? You take me for a ride? This some sick joke? <laughs> Who we say it is? Or just admit... I don't know, just... The, you don't know. You... Aren't sure, whatever. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Need some air. Oh, legs are jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damage my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. 
Why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells with generative capacity. We tried everything. Really? Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? Be listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You got no reason to thank me. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where are you been to? NUS clinic had uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome, bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Dealing? With some drawbacks. I, uh... I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... Got no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? Nah. No. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now... really can't help you. Seriously? 
Congrats, Judy. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you could have come to the wedding. I'm just glad you found what you were looking for. When you disappeared, I knew I had to get away from Night City. And, well, <laughs> that's how I met Bianca. And what do you know? I, I'm happy, V. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. A lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Uh, hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, uh, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all, but not on the greatest terms. It'd be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. You... Uh, why? So... This Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked. But... No, without complications. Two-year coma for one. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. No damn way. River, it's me. Me who? Well, uh, V, obviously. Is it obvious? Stop futzing around. The I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect the year after all this time? River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with Trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? You'd rather not see me? <laughs> Look, I'm 
not the man you used to know. Couldn't stand to look you in the eye. Not you. Not. The fuck am I blabbing for? I gotta go. Wait a sec, River. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V. It's me. The one and only. Fuck me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joel. Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Carrie? Hacienda, you're still standing. Who cares about a house? Someplace way prima right now. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday. Had this beaut fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah. Well, not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Jeez, shit. Can you not, Joe? I'm on, I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Fuck, Do you yeah. Know what? Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah, got surgery. That's why I'm alive. But it didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. Sorry, it sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or, um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right now. What the hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune. I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Carrie? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Play in Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. What do you think? Gonna see you again? She, of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, uh, four, four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Uh, yeah, I... Listen, V, in the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling you back on stage. Right. Yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. Vic will love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. Heh. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. 
Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big, fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, yeah, fascinating. Yeah, can turn it off One now, all thanks. You listeners can read right here. Our sock is on the back foot, huh? Well said. Other corporations are now attempting to fill the... Uh... Hole. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Our sock is on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one. Three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, nah, to myself, Del. Doesn't matter. This is it. I shall be right here awaiting your return. Better get going. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey, man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon.
Vic. <laughs> so good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Got it wrong, luckily. I love that I was wrong about this one. Want a drink to that? I'm serving. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment. So what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say exactly? This Seda tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of... of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt, waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Hmm. So... First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that'd... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening Said kind. you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. 
Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. I get it, Vic. I believe you. Stay calm, level. I think I even envy you. But that's just not me. Something was taken from me, and I can't accept it. Attitude like that can only bring pain. Might be how it has to be. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, well, man. Was on my way out, so. Ugh, V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector. Hey, swing by to see me anytime. Yeah. Of course, of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Drop it. Let me alone. Hmm. Uh, nope. Show me the money. Know a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? F Padre. Instills a fear of God and man. Ha 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 ha! Old rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah! Uh. Uh. Um. V? But you. What happened to you? Uh. Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. 
Not much more to it. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, B. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? <laughs> Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. I'm sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. No one, Misty. Thanks. Likewise, V. Then on what comes next, Misty. What to do. Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Made the best choice of all of us. Leaving NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. So. Oh, V, do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.
V. So, you went and beat the biochip. And in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? V, hey! Uh, I'll keep you short, huh? Uh, listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole, you're you're all right. But um well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. I look back at times of what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right. That I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out on uh, last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? 